Hey Virgo, welcome to your 2021 love preview reading. So this will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights on what's in store or what you could expect, at least in the first three months of 2021 in terms of love. All right. If you want to uh, watch uh, love readings for November and December 2020, I do have those in my channel as well. But this time, this is just a quick reading, a preview. Yeah, let's see. What can we expect for 2021 for Virgo? To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Info about my personal readings. And um, if you want to connect with me in Facebook, Instagram, the links are in the description box below. Or you can also visit my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. All right, Virgo, let's get this started. Virgo in love in 2021. First three months. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. The Tower. <laughs> okay, the Three of Wands. Strength. The King of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the King of Cups, Page of Coins, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, Page of Wands, the Eight of Coins, the Eight of Cups. Wow, two different, um, both eights, but um, two different types of energy. Okay, let's see. The Knight of Wands. Have some fun, Virgo. Ten of Cups. All right, so Virgo, I feel that, um, well, as of the current moment, um, we are coming in here with this energy of um, losing what we already have. So, you know, that feeling of uh, not getting what you want, uh, perhaps a, uh, a commitment, a relationship, a connection that you tried to build. Yeah, that you tried to work on for quite a while, yeah, to bring it up to a tower. And then all of a sudden, that tower has been um, crumbled down. So this could very well be talking about uh, breakup, uh, separation, fight, where it seems like both are left with no choice but to leave, or both are left with no choice but to just have that feeling of, you got to let this go. Yeah, there's no other way but to to uh, abandon it. Yeah, at least by the time you had that breakup, that was the initial um, reaction. And um, Virgo, since then, you know, this breakup could have happened recently or it could have happened um, a while back. But I feel that this time there is that energy for you that somehow hoping, waiting, not very much in an obsessive way, but there is that sense that at some point in time, this will be corrected. At some point in time, karma will take place. At some point in time, or in the future, you will get what you deserve. Yeah, Because there is this um, um, energy of believing that you have done your best in this love connection. You have given it all. You have loved. Yeah, And you love this person too. There, There is love here in this situation. But the tower moment has happened, and um, that's unstoppable. Nothing can stop that. Yeah, It was meant to happen. Mm -hmm. What you could expect in 2021, in terms of this connection, is that you would continue to build yourself, Virgo. Um, you would continue to build that strength within you. So that also involves healing yeah, on your part. Uh, healing from the pain, the difficulties, the, the, the even betrayal, 
Yeah, if this person has betrayed you in the past, if they have not said sorry, this is you trying to appease yourself. You know, if they are not giving you closure, if they are not giving you apology, then I feel that you would be um, focusing more on healing yourself. Yeah, giving that closure to yourself, forgiving yourself in order for you to continue carrying out what you need to do in the world. Okay? But one thing you could expect too is that um, things will be more clarified. Things will be, with regards to this connection, at least in the first two months, things, whatever confusion um, that you may have right now relating to this breakup, to this tower moment, things will be clarified. Yeah, things will be brought to light. It may not be instantly, but along the process, as you continue your healing from today until the first um, month of 2021, things will become more clear to you. Yeah. Even um, how are you going to deal with the future now? It seems kind of blurry because when you are in pain, when you are in difficulty, you don't actually see beyond the feeling that you have right now. But early 2021, there is that sense of um, clarity or getting into it, getting into that clarity. And I do see communication, yeah, honest communication, straightforward communication. And I feel it's coming from the person that you are thinking about or you are you have been dealing with and this communication will involve a an energy of somebody reaching out opening up in terms of their emotions so that could um span between saying hello how are you how are you doing you know for the holidays how it's been up to um it's a spectrum so wherever you both are in in your own cycle or when your own path this could also mean that this person is going to be reaching out to apologize to open up things that they have been closed out or things that they were not really speaking up yeah for now they would open up and i feel it's more about apology not necessarily that they want to get back together that's the the key there yeah not necessarily that because i feel that um this person wants there is that sense of wanting to clear the conscience wanting to clear the um the fog out you know um they will be opening up to talk but there is that sense of but i'm not ready to to you know this person would probably reach out, would reach out to you not probably but would reach out to you but not to the extent that they want to get back together. There's just some form of clarity, but with a level of authenticity from this person. Mm -hmm. But since they are not coming back to get back together, I feel that you may not be trusting it from the get-go. You might be thinking that this person has someone else. Therefore, they just want to clear their conscience and but then they're not getting back together with you. That's the energy that I am getting. So there is that sense of assumption, Virgo. Be mindful of that. And make sure that that assumption is well-founded. Okay? With regards to your person, I feel that there is this sense of healing too on their part. Especially if this person hasn't been very much in touch with their emotions. I'm seeing that... Um, in January, February, early 2021, this is someone who would slowly start to tap into their emotional um, space. Yeah, they may be dealing with this situation in a logical sense, in a practical sense, but I feel that there's going to be a shift. King of Swords and the King of Cups. So there's going to be a shift. This person would start to feel more, to sense more, not just thinking more. Yeah, so you could see that change in this person's behavior too. I can see that even in January, you would still have this um, willingness, Virgo, to start things off with them. You're still willing to talk. You would still be willing to, to discuss what need be in order to at least progress or fix the situation. But early 2021, this person 
would be coming in trying to attain emotional balance, trying to attain emotional stability. So like I said, it could be an apology and them trying to um, fix themselves first, to be more in tune with their emotions. But they don't want drama. Yeah. So for whatever this is, don't expect any drama. If you bring in drama into that conversation in January, this person will end this finally. But they are coming in to just to clear the air, basically. Okay? And with that intention or with that behavior, you would still feel the pain, Virgo, because I feel that you are wanting to, you know, to uh, transform this connection into a reconciliation and perhaps both of you can, can start something off, be fun again and, and things like that. But since this person is pacing it, you may still feel um, a little bit sad, yeah. But at that point in time too, I feel that you could be halfway through your healing. So there is that sadness, but not to the extent of obsessiveness, yeah. Because what you're actually getting is a communication, but not 100% of what you truly want, at least in January, Okay, but what I see here is that this person wants to be more in tune with their emotions first um, to see how they feel about themselves, about their actions towards you, as well as how do they truly feel about the situation in January. So if there is that sense of this person transforming too, yeah, and really getting deeper into how they feel because only when this person can... can uh, confirm or touch their emotional need only then they could think about commitment Virgo yeah this person may have been thinking logically and even you you may have dealing with this uh, situation this commitment in a very logical let's fix this let's do that and all but this right here is a very good move from this person in terms of well Virgo is a de dependable partner Virgo I can, they, they know that they can build a life with you. They know that you can love. They love the way you love them. But the thing is, how do they truly feel? And that feeling is that um, sufficient enough, yeah, to bring this situation up to the next level, to reconciliation even, okay? And you might be surprised, yeah? If I, if I were you, I mean, <laughs> the message here is more about um, follow or be aligned with the pace that this person will bring into this connection in January, if you still want this, yeah? If not, you can totally ignore, yeah? And then you can move on and see other horizon, other direction in life. But if you still want this, um, watch and align with this person's... Uh, pacing yeah because ultimately what they will bring into the table of course they don't want any more drama they want to clear the air but ultimately they will bring in fun in their own way so let this person initiate that okay i feel that it's good that you are healing yourself right now because once you are healed by the time this person brings that and brings this communication or start to reach back out to you you are in a right position to respond accordingly and pace it with them okay that's what i see mostly here um the outcome is that definitely you would be both walking away from the emotional burden that this connection has brought you yeah and there is that sense of capacity to put more focus on the reality of the situation. There's no more dreaming, yeah? There's no more dreaming about what love means, yeah? I feel that it's more about what's practical, what's the reality of it, and we'll deal with it, we'll work on it, we'll focus on it moving forward. That's the energy that I am getting. Okay, for some of you, this could also mean that um, once you receive um, the apology from this person, you would take it, yeah? And that would actually help you really move on and walk away. 
that's for some of you. And for some, once that clarity is out, there is that um, decision to, okay, let's do this the right way. Okay? Not your way, not their way, but the right way for the connection to work. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that, Virgo, and I hope this gives you insights. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and um, uh, let me know in the comment section below if this resonates. If it doesn't, check out the other placements that you have. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I do have um, those readings, weeklies, monthlies readings in my channel. Check those out. Bye, Virgo.